Well, good day, tubes. Hush, hanging pretty good here. Uh, boy, wait, where am I going here? I gotta go this way a bit more. We, uh, oh, I should wash our window too. We, uh, have to go up to John Deere. Uh, John Deere, John Deere, John Deere. Not for parts, actually, surprisingly. For, uh, paint. <laughs> I have to get paint, I have to get paint, paint and one other item if they have it, which is some gasket sealant stuff. For stuff for the AR, oh, they're gonna start road construction on our corner here soon. That'd be awesome, maybe some, well, can't really fly the drone over people now, but I see a bunch of sticks up here. But uh, anyways, yeah, we have to go to John Deere, we need to get some classic green paint and a little tube of silicone gasket maker stuff if they have any a couple things else so i want to do on the tractor and we need some paint we got a battery cover made and uh yeah don't uh, come into my lane there but i hate this corner hope they just put a roundabout there and be done with it but anyway uh yeah so classic green paint some silicone and uh, there's a couple things i want to do on the john deere i want to check the uh, valve clearances too as well on it on the ar john deere ar and uh yeah so we got to get uh, some classic green heat hazard and spray bomb cans because we made a uh, oh, battery box cover actually come up pretty good and i need to prime it yet and then paint the classic green on it because that's what this uh, thing is painted in the vintage classic green so we'll head her up and uh if anything cool on the way we'll see what's happening check this out 18 to freaking degrees. I can't believe it. It's so nice out today. Almost need air conditioning on. Actually, I might not. Uh, might not uh, think that's a bad idea to give her a shot. You know, I haven't had the AC on on this uh, new truck here yet. Let's see if she makes she make sure she works. Better work. Uh, but yeah, 18 degrees. That's pretty good. Pretty good. It's the warmest day of this winter. That's for sure. <laughs> Anyways, just thought I'd share that with you. Well, the AC's been running for about 15 minutes now, and it's pretty darn freaking frigid cold in here. Holy, man, it's only, well, it's actually 19 degrees Celsius now. Wow. So, uh, as you can see, my battery, oh, battery, 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 battery. Oil life is 45%. And I really like to get it changed, potentially, if I can, if it's not pouring rain like it was supposed to all day today when I get home. <laughs> I want to change the oil in this thing. I'll do that on a separate video, though, of course. But um, um, probably really not 45%. I'm probably more like 60, maybe, actually, because I had to read, you know, of course, dump in like four extra liters, right? So it's uh, over an, over half change, but yeah, it's, it does need to be done. So, but anyways, uh, this is the truck that automatically changes the oil for you. You just keep adding some. Fill up the oil and check the gas, bud. So, anyways, it seems actually all right now, but uh, once we change it and drive it a bit again, we'll, we'll see if it's staying where we want it to. But this thing holds 8.8, .8, I believe it is 8.8 .8 liters of oil. That's quite a bit. Ooh, we got a passing opportunity here. Gotta love that 10 speed. Just find it any gear it wants. <laughs> Anyways, uh, better slow down. There's probably police herds down here. Oh, that guy turned anyways. Oh, that's funny. Oh, well. <laughs> we blew him out of the water. So, uh, yeah, we'll uh, catch you in a little bit here. So, I do have actually some John Deere Green at home. Um, I've got the original uh, newer green, which actually... Oh, it's hard to explain. It's a little bit more creamy, kind of yellowy colored, like the new style. Like everything now is this color. Everything now, John Deere new is this color, uh, which is everybody knows as John Deere green. There actually is like a John Deere green classic, which is actually a lot darker. Not a lot darker, but darker. It's definitely noticeable. Uh, and then I actually have a, a John Deere green made by Tremclad, which is just horrid stuff it's like fluorescent green <laughs> it's horrible stuff but um i did a little spray sample at the garage there of both 
of those colors and uh, took the uh, fuel, uh, no, not fuel cap, the uh, radiator cap outside where it was natural light and neither one of them looked very good. So uh, that's why I'm on my way up to get a classic green. And um, yeah, this is for painting the, uh, the battery box I made, which actually works pretty good. And um, that new clutch brake arm assembly that I got in that um, is actually cleaned up pretty good and I got it all in primer now. I wish I could take you guys on this adventure, but you know, some things I can't now. So wow, we're getting washed out pretty good there. Um, but uh, yeah, I can't, so I guess all, it's all in primer. I uh, haven't really done too much with the internals of that uh, piece for the tractor. Like the clutch, the actual part fork that goes in that pushes on the clutch. I haven't actually done that. Probably not going to. Might give it a spray up and then just a lube with something. Um, I don't really think there should be too much oily in that area though, in that clutch thing. It's not really like an oily area unless your seals are leaking or something, which could be too. <laughs> it shouldn't really be oily in there. It's probably just stuff that they sprayed from factory way, way back or somebody's had it apart and sprayed it too. But uh, I'd be curious to see what mine looks like when it comes out of the tractor. And we will do a video on that. That'll be in the, what we'll call a series of the uh, John Deere AR maintenance kind of things. So we want to change the oil, engine oil. We want to change the uh, coolant. We want to change the rear end rear end uh, gear oil which is an 80 I'll have to use an 80 90 I guess um, and I've got some spark plugs for it I should probably fire those into it what I also want to do actually is while I got the spark plugs out is I want to run my bore scope camera down the, the cylinders and uh, just to see if it'll kind of see what it looks like down there it might be all gummed up I don't know uh, I want to pop off the uh, valve cover and do some clearance inspection on the valve tappets there. It's supposed to be, I think, uh, 20 thousandths of an inch between the valve and uh, the rocker arm. So I want to check those out. Uh, it does just have a kind of a weird popping kind of noise when it's running. I just wonder if maybe the, the valves are out a little bit. Like you hear the bang, 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 but then you hear the odd, the odd little boop, boop kind of thing, and it just kind of sounds weird. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but uh, there could potentially be a valve issue. Potentially, maybe I don't know. It doesn't sound like a like a tapping noise on on the valve. It just sounds I don't know. I'll have to investigate it. Uh, I think to get that valve cover off, though, unfortunately, I got to take the generator all off, which kind of sucks. Uh, now, if that was a non-electric start tractor like an older one it wouldn't have a generator anyways it's just flywheel start right so uh because it's got a magneto ignition it doesn't need uh, anything for battery unless you're running lights but uh i think the old ones didn't even have lights on them so uh yeah but uh what else we got to do um check the uh check and probably service the air breather it's an, uh, an oil bath system in it air cleaner and um, after that I think that should be pretty good for all the fluidy stuff I got to get a fair bit of gear oil and it's not going to be cheap uh, gear oil in Canada unfortunately is like freaking gold it's very expensive but I'm gonna need I think it's 30 liters of it it's a fair bit in that thing so uh, which is yeah quite a bit I think it's 30 liters it's in and around there somewhere and uh, yeah, and that uh, should should do her up. It does need those rear tires, but I'm not going to worry about them right now. Man, I hardly ever get a green light right through this intersection. Oh, you can't see anyways. Never mind. So we're about uh, three quarters of the way to John Deere here now. We'll uh, shut her down for a moment and probably see up there. All right, what do we got going on today? Well, they got inside the shop. Oh, we got a combine right inside of the thing there working on it. That's pretty cool. Oh, and some big track machines. Holy, holy crap, look at the mowers. <laughs> mowers. They got mowers. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of mowers. 
Holy, what are you cutting, bud? Apparently, all oh, everybody's on. These are probably all new ones for sale to be distributed through their dealerships, I'm sure. Holy shnikes, that's a lot of setting up mowers, that's for sure. And then uh, back here is, wait a minute, why is there a coyote here? Doesn't make any sense. Cute though. Uh, this is their repair bar bar bays back in here and stuff. They just put up a huge new addition here, and as we've seen with the combine in there, they're using it. So that's good. We gotta go ahead and get some paint. There's a nice chipper on the back of that guy here. Look at this thing here. That's pretty cool. Gotta go get some paint. All right, we got some classic green. I got two cans of it. Actually, it feels like a lot in there, surprisingly. It feels heavier than a normal can, but maybe it's because it's good heavy paint. Um, but yeah, so we got two of those. Not cheap, but they're not terrible bad. About 19, under 19 bucks for a can, so I didn't think that was too bad. Um, but it just looks like normal, doesn't it? It is different. It's darker. It's darker stuff. So, but anyway, and if you want a really good stuff for sealing stuff, like this guy's doing here, we'll say. This stuff has got to be the best freaking stuff I've ever used. Made by Loctite High Flex Form and Place Gasket. You can you can tear an oil pan off, say a tractor, or something that has oily stuff like that on it, um, like a hub that has oil in behind it, uh, kind of thing. Stuff like that. You can put this stuff on, like that. Sticker back on, fill her up, and drive it. You don't have to wait for it to dry. You don't have to wait for it to tack up. None of that garbage. Just plug and play. Good stuff. It's it's a bit expensive. Those like twenty eight bucks here for this stuff, but they do make a lot of different versions of this stuff. But this is the stuff that I like, and uh, it will actually turn into like like a silicone kind of gasket in time. Uh, in a in a row. <laughs> I can't say that word. Anaero that word, anaerobic. That's uh, stuff that uh, will only dry when there's no, no presence of air. It's kind of weird, but um, thread locker stuff is kind of like that too. It only kind of hardens on threads when there's no air in it, right? Same same as this stuff. So um, if this stuff squishes out a little bit past the side, it will actually not dry, but it'll dry between the surfaces. It's really weird stuff, but it works really good. But anyways, um, oh, nice Premier truck coming by us. Hey, bud. So, Premier John Deere, yeah, that's where we are. Uh, yeah, they don't have a whole lot of smallishy kind of, some smallishy kind of things here today. But uh, to me, it doesn't seem like there's quite as much as uh, normal, but between things maybe right now. But there's a nice big guy there. Let's see if we can zoom in and see. Uh, I can't see he's focusing on the window. That's pretty sweet though. Imagine the price of that thing. I bet you those those tracks are almost probably over half of the price of the tractor. It's ridiculous, eh? But just to drive in mushy stuff. <laughs> but anyways, uh, there's a Pottinger attachment up there too. It looks like a mower or something. That's kind of cool. But anyways, we'll head her home. And that might potentially be it for today. Uh, I want to maybe just show you the comparison between... Oh, everything is dinging. The comparison between uh, these these paints here to show you why I have had to come up all the way up here to get this stuff. We'll grab our cap and the two samples that I have here that I sprayed the other day with the... Uh, oh, there's another Premier. Holy cow, the truck's going all over the place. <laughs> and... Uh, don't know if I'm going to get to change my oil today. Might have to wait. It's supposed to start raining, which kind of looks like it has now. And it's supposed to rain all night and all day tomorrow. And I think the next day is supposed to be a little better, but it's probably going to be, you know, sloppy seconds mushing coming over after that. And then Sunday, I think, was supposed to be nice. But uh, anyways, let's head her home. Oh, just leaving the parking lot there. I spied some other things up here. I'm thinking I might want to just drive by and have a look at i think they're storing more stuff up here that's maybe why there wasn't so much stuff down there let's have a, a look here holy cow they got all kinds of good junk in there someone's just leaving there so i better not go in but a couple of tractors and there's a big tillage equipment there a couple of combines what else we got in here oh, all kinds of good junk a couple of combines lots of tillage equipment in there discs and stuff 
There's a front loader from something, much more and more discs and man, I guess they must be renting that chunk of land. That's pretty cool. Something tells me we won't be changing oil today again. Holy jumping. <laughs> I just cannot beat this weather crap. It, it's just been silly. Ah, one of these days before it turns to grease, hopefully we'll change the oil in this truck and the tractor. I want to get changed or I wanted to do like a while ago, but it was still winter time and couldn't really do it then. And then it got kind of thawed out and it was all mushy for a long time. And then it's starting to rain. Oh man, you just can't win. But anyways, one of these days we'll hopefully get some sun change some oil but anyways we're almost home all right here we got some stuff to show you so this is the original the original dark uh, classic green they call it now this is the new John Deere green it's very close but it's got a little more like yellow creamy in it and this is the, this is the green that I got from TSC or trim clad green so it's like miles off lots of miles off hopefully this is coming out right now, this one's close but you can see the difference right let's get maybe a zoom you can see maybe the difference of the darker green that's the new green and then this is the the trim clad which is like miles off like not even close <laughs> But anyway, so that's that. That's my little sample guy. That's the radiator cap off that AR. And this is the battery cover I built for it. I'm using the original, well, I made these things and the, the battery box has these things that kind of click into those guys. So I ran out of uh, welding wire, so I had to use braze rod. I got a little bit of trimming left to do. It's a little, a little high on this side and then I want to kind of grind this a bit smooth. But that was a lot of fitting and bashing and banging because this, is fairly good and square but um the uh the box is not so it was it was really fun and challenging but that's the little box cover i come up with for the battery so there we go that is awesome so i guess that's about it for today we're going to paint this guy to see a bit of a crack there that's interesting i must have hit her too hard or something and this uh yeah go on on this again this is a uh, this was done with uh starting with a flat piece of steel cut it to you know for the lips and then the size of the battery box is in here and i put mostly i i put it in the vise and bent it bent it bent it bent it bent it and then uh to to fit it perfectly i used my air air impact no no my air 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 hammer with the chisel on it and then bashed it and then you can see a lot of bash in there but that'll all clean up i'm gonna run it through a sandblaster once more and uh, then we'll prime it and paint it but uh, yeah, that's it. We'll catch you all later. You guys have a good day. We got some classic green. Sweet. Darn rain. Just wanted to have fun outside and darn rain. Maybe I need to build myself one of them. Uh, it's kind of outdoors, but it's like a roof over, you know, their, your stuff. But like, like a carport kind of thing with, you know, like poles that come up out of the ground and you build like a roof thing on it. It's kind of like a shed without walls. At least then you could drive under there and be dryish. But anyways, oh, we'll catch you later. Darn rain all weekend.